It's retro now. Well. Okay, bet accordingly. I'm going to be real with you. We don't really need a moth because all these units are going to kill anything that they play against already. And they're also going to die to everything they play against. And the moth does not change that. I'll be a nefarious herb. I didn't say it, but you know which one I'm talking about. You stole my draw from me. Weak team. Stronger team. Moth will stick. I mean, this is... It's not great. <laughs> but it's something. Okay, those mosquitoes are going to do a number on us. No doubt about that. When you take frogs early, you're not going to... You don't even need to watch the results. You can't win. But you can have fun later. Now I got... There's some interesting things, I think, going on here. For example, level me up. That's what we're here for. You're just good. And then... I actually think, like, a peacock is pretty sick. Now... Does a pug do anything for us? Do we, we don't really want to swap anybody's stats, so I think we can at least do that. We could just... No, because we don't... Eh, no, no, we're happy like this. And then freeze me. It's too late to, to bet on the cockroach here. But I think you could start to, you know, give a dodo a shot at making the peacock pop off, maybe. So if we could buff, like, one unit and then give its stats to the peacock, that would be kind of sick. I don't know if it's going to happen. What the hell? We're going up against... It's It's us? There's another person in the game that's stupid enough to run a level 2 frog? Get sold. I don't really care what you hit, honestly. Fine, whatever. And then you being a level 2 peacock early actually seems kind of important. Now level 2 dodo as well. Okay, we should buy a unit cuz we're going to we're going to be a little bit under the gun here. Now, I don't know, instead of making you a level 2 peacock, I think I'd rather make a level 2 dodo. Just because it helps our order out a little bit. I'm still, I mean, I, I think we made the best decision with the information we had available at the time. If we could just get to this level 3 frog, man. Imagine. Vegas on acid, seen through Yves Saint Laurent glasses. I love it. I like it. I roll it. It's weird. It's weird. Oh, you're, hey, dude, you're absolutely right. We should have bought Hatching Chicken and dumped the moth. That's not even like a contest. What was I thinking? What were they thinking? Never mind. Okay, at least we made it. We, we've learned a lesson we probably will never remember, but that's okay. Take this for now. Roll me. I love it for next round. Not interested. I love it for this round. This is exactly what we were looking for. Um, there's no perfect place to put this, okay? I don't know where to... Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to give it to the dodo... But the dodo will go first. Because the dodo has better stats. Start a battle. Oh no, because this goes end of turn. Never mind, that changes everything. I was overthinking it. Okay, then you definitely you still definitely go to the dodo. That's 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 pretty true. That's pretty true. Okay, freeze me. We're gonna get a level up next turn. Don't worry about the turtle for now. Stats are the order determinator for start of battle effects. Or for, well, for any effect that happens at the same time. We could draw this. I got confidence we could win this. Three wins. Okay. 
level me. Lionfish is, is very good. What are we doing with our frog? You ever consider this? Many people are asking, Ayo, what the frog doing? The pug, it, it does have to go. I do think now we could actually... I want the peacock to have some extra HP. Even though, obviously, passing on five extra attack to the dodo lets you get, like, you know, you kind of double dip on it. I want the peacock to be a little bit stronger. I want it, I want it to live long enough to, to do some real damage. I mean, I think it just, like... Three for one, which is pretty sick. Don't no 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 no. You don't get to kill me. You don't have my permission to kill me with a with a one one cricket when I have garlic on me. You're so lucky. You don't double dip because frog's not swapping. Well, if we put the hatching chick here, it gives the five H uh, five attack to the dodo, um, and the five health. But then it also gives the five attack to the unit that the dodo gives it to. I would describe two things happening as a double dip, but I'm kind of weird like that. Now roll me. You start to think, because we, we don't have any scaling at all. But an eel is a great target to get stats. If we could just find a way to do it. But we don't have any stats to give. We don't have any stats to give yet. The only stats are on our, they're on the frog. So what the hell are you going to do? <laughs> I guess I'm going to give my peacock some broccoli. And then I'm going to... Sure, we're going to set it up like this now. I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to do it, man. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to get out of this. We have no scaling. This is why you should get a shrimp. A 1038. A 1038 blowfish. I'm going to die. I, there's not even a contest on this one. How did you get so much... Oh, we had three wins. Holy cow. How did you get so much stats on the Blowfish so early? That's incredible. I mean, that's not just more stats than me. That's like more stats than I've ever seen there. It must have... There, there's no doubt. It must have been a shrimp. I can't believe we're entering a new world where the methodology is... Always take shrimp. I see you, Chad. How many pots have you sniffed today? Huge win. Okay, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's a pretty valid point when you say things like, maybe if you stop taking frogs, you'd be better off. That's a very good point. But how, how am I supposed to resist? Just because it never works, and they've never found a place for the unit to do anything at all, and they've ruined it through a series of uh, ill-advised nerfs over the course of the past several months. Maybe if you get three of them in the shop on your first four rolls in a row, then it's the, it's, it's the patrician's choice. How am I going to scale you, Emperor Tamarin? How am I going to scale you? Like, thank you for existing, but how am I going to scale you? I guess I'm going to take a, a Wombat and copy a level 1 fainting ability Freeze the spider? Dude, like I guess I'm going to take two Wombats and try to create a, a little weird Wombat chain here You could probably take that You know what? They did finally answer the question, where would a wombat wear its pants? And the answer is, on the butt. Do we have no abilities? No abilities? No abilities? That's a sad way to lose. Take this and, and pray. I'm begging you. For now, sure. I mean, we're in a pinch. Okay. I would like to congratulate doubters of all levels here. 
We have uh, received shops that have no units that do anything. We have... Oh, oh, we're getting shuffled around like crazy. None of our units do do anything at all. Two wins, though. At least we're not paying out the super doubters. You gotta pay out the super believers like 20 times for every one uh, super doubter payout. That It hurts, man. It, it hurts that disproportionately. You know what? I should have stuck with it earlier, but you got me thinking. What about a kangaroo? We, the problem is we don't have a good unit to put in front of the kangaroo so that it gets to attack. It gets to get buffed multiple times. But imagine if you did. 1-7 kangaroo? How'd you get so st If you don't get a hatching chick, or you don't get a, a starfish, or like a couple of shrimps, it's just over for you, man. What do you get? You got nothing. You got no scaling potential. Hatching chicks. You gotta go. You need the support. And honestly, get out of here. You need the support. Take one of these just to be as useful as possible. You take one of these. Our kangaroo is in front is behind a 1-1. But on the other hand, it's a 6-12. So uh, oh, thank you. Well, it actually made no difference. It, in fact, I, I regret my thank you immediately. We gotta get out of this. Well, here's the thing. People were like, why would, why would you do this? Now your kangaroo's not getting any triggers. It doesn't need any triggers if it gets spit out as a 612. You know how many triggers it would have to get in order to become a 612? We would need this 5 HP unit to last for like uh, three attacks. You gotta go, but I need to replace you with something better, which is the, is the true nightmare of the situation here. It's way too late to try the shrimp starfish, but thanks for showing up at the very end. I really appreciate it. What about if you had to? You sell the marmoset to gold. Okay. You buy a crow, sell a crow. We're going to run a four squad here. You have a cow. You sell the cow. No, you know what? You go psycho cow. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not psycho to drink your own milk. That's normal. It's normal to drink your own milk. And then I think we set it up like this. Big cow. Really big cow. We're dead. <laughs> but I think you knew that already. <laughs> okay, two wins. Uh, that squad, like the shops that we got there were insane doubter technology. It was horrible, dude. We, we never got a... a and, and this is the same damn shop. We never got a, a rope to grab to save us from ourselves. Okay, this is now more acceptable. Now I'm, now I'm not crying as badly. Be an innocent personality. <clears throat> I did not burn the rope. I don't even know what that means. I've never played an iOS game in my life. We have to buy something. People, they think they're so smart, dude. People are like, well, why would you keep the marmoset? Because it was a four or five unit with meat on it. And every other unit that showed up in the shop. I mean, like, it, it just set the tone for the entire run. 
when you your level three shop accelerator is a two four uh emperor tamarin okay like let me let me just build into a unit that's designed to be sold oh wait no more ever showed up over the course of history even the owl is a little insulting but you got to do what you got to do in given the situation I'm just gonna keep buffing my mosquito right now. I don't know. I guess you guys are going to the to the back. Everything I own in a box to the back. This seems unwinnable. That's a good point. Investing in food early makes it hard to pivot off the unit late. That being said, here, take a peach real quick. That was mostly for comedic effect. I'm, I'm a big enough man to admit it. Um, let me get a sell and a buy and a sell and a buy. And we'll basically take you to get a better chance of a level up. And you know what? I think round four, there's not many tier ones I'd like to add. I think I could add a moth. Mosquito's an acceptable investment. I agree. I couldn't agree more. This is not as bad as I thought it would be. Two wins. What are we going to do? <laughs> There's no reason to make a super cockroach because it loses his stats anyway. We almost like have to put some support on a peacock. You gotta at least give it a chance, even though it's late. And then we'd really like to see a level via the cockroach. You know, for now, this is... It is what it is. Sure. Um, let's buy a wasp. I mean, this is... Because the only reason I'm getting them is because there's two of them. We got lucky. We got very lucky. Keep cutting the rope and I'll keep eating good. My brother in Christ, you smoke too much pot. You don't even have a bet next to your name. You haven't placed a bet in the casino. You're doubting for sport. I can see there's no flair next to your name. You're just being a hater. Rip, L, okay, hold on. I mean, you gotta respect someone who just doubts for the thrill of it all. I have to roll to see if we get a wasp, because it matters. You can stay here for a level, I, I guess. Now, we're probably not likely to get a wasp with one space in the shop. <laughs> okay, but two peacocks is kind of sick. I'm okay with the shop being frozen for now, because in all likelihood, the unit that we're going to want to buy is going to appear on our level up. That is unfortunate, but we weren't off by too much. Okay, they really want me to go Peacock, so let's grant the wish. Go Peacock. Could we pivot to a turkey build? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I, I, it might be the only way that we can accomplish something. I guess we're going to invest in you. Hope Okay, it's something at least, maybe, in theory. I don't really see the wasp. The mosquito needs doesn't need so much. I don't see, really see the wasp getting us there. It, we didn't get the level two that we needed. This is bad, but <laughs> at least the turkey, it, it gives us hope. Now, that, that could be foolhardy or it could be very sensible. We'll, we'll find out in time. We're definitely going to lose this one. But you know what? We actually are we're, we're going to win this one because the level two peacock did so much. Did you see that? Managed to punch through the, the melon armor. Holy cow. You need this. Three, I mean, 
for the time being, the, the pivot makes a lot of sense to me because it gets the buff from the from the turkey to begin with. Like, we're actually incentivized to, to pivot a little. Give me, a, give me a feint to pray, and then give me broccoli on the peacock just to try to get it juiced. Everything it survives, every extra turn it survives makes a huge difference. Now, it's not going to make it. <laughs> we already knew that, though. What a surprise, a starfish. Where's my shrimp and starfish? There they are. Um, it's a little late for them. That being said, it's great comedic timing. Sure, I can't deny that. That's undeniable. Um, I do still feel like the lionfish could overwrite some equipment and help us out. And I do feel like we'll probably throw in another new unit, but we gotta... I don't think we're going hard on the armadillo, let's be honest. I think it's gotta go. We pro probably would rather have a hawk. They're basically the same, but at least this chooses a target, which... Okay, well, okay, I mean, a little... Okay, I mean, the peacock is probably worth more. All it has to do is live through, like, a couple attacks, maybe? Making it hard to believe today? What do you mean hard to believe? You bet on one win. You're gonna lose anyway, but you're, you're like, telling yourself that you did the right thing. I can see your bets. You tried- you, you lost, but you didn't lose because you bet on belief. You believed in one win. Okay, that's four. All I'm asking for is perfect shops. Is that so much to ask? Not a perfect shop, but the stats are okay. Maybe a space ranger. Oh yeah, then what I bet? I can see that you bet on nothing. We believe in nothing Lebowski. You got me? I don't know. What did you think was going to... You were going to be like, I didn't bet on anything. I'm going to get him. He's not going to see any flare. Thus, he won't know what I bet on. I bet, but I don't have a tag next to my name. Yes, you do. The tag says nine. You have predicted, in quotation marks, nine. You may not have the same interface as me. It's like the same as on the Peloton. I just see the instructor and a few numbers... They get to see everybody's milestones. They got notes next to them and stuff like that. The power users, they give us more information. You know why? Because we can handle it. I think we do this. It's because my country hates internet points. You don't want to hear this, I understand. You're, it's because your government has your best interests in mind. They care about their citizenry. They say the human brain has some shortcuts to, to exploit it. One of them is flashy lights and, and um, variable payouts and a variable schedule of payouts. They probably also banned uh, soda in the vending machines in middle school. All sorts of totalitarian stuff like that. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to the guy who's, who just said that. What the hell are you talking about? It's a question that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> I just, I'm picturing you at like a, a, a Q&A. Somebody asks a question, person, the, the person responds, you go to the guy next to you. Who the hell is he talking to? Okay, I got to think about this. Dude, the peacock popped off for us last time. It's simple. You sell, you buy, you invest in a good unit like the peacock. You invest in a good unit like the pe. Okay, thank you. And we roll. 
and I would I would love to have you as part of the squad. I really don't think we need you to get the peacock to 12 attack, but if it's got to be done, it's got to be done right now. I don't think there's many better options. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting situation we have here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We probably still lose just because like this this peacock can't pop until it gets HP. Once it oh, you know what we're actually gonna win this one, but once it gets HP, it's gonna pop, man. Yeah, I'm freezing good things in the shop because when like the vast majority of the time I'm just clicking the roll button because there's no good units, man. Okay, we already got a level. We I'm I'm stoked that there is gonna be a level three seahorse in our future though. That's pretty positive. Can move like a. Uh, an ass unit to the front for them. Maybe screw up a, a turtle or something like that. We might not go level three on this turn because we, we're going to combine our mods as well. I think it depends what units we see. I'll take my draw. Happily take my draw. Forget the dog. I do like you. And I'm not afraid who knows it. I still feel, though, that, like, I'd, I'd actually just, for now, add two seahorses. We'll combine those over the next couple of turns. And I think the broccoli just continues to, like, serve us very well here. We could always maybe shrimp before the combine. But I still, I still think the broccoli does so well for us. I, I think you go, you prioritize the broccoli first. You should not have this much HP. It's uh, illegal in some ways that I haven't really thought of yet. But, but, we win these. I'll take that. It's too much. Why don't you take one of these? Why don't you take one of these? Why don't you get added? Honestly, you're just gonna... I'm basically putting you in my savings account right now. Might as well think about it, you know? Okay, their peacock is better. Or, actually... No, it's better. <laughs> I was going to say, actually, we're the same. Uh, we're not the same. But not by much. Okay, now we get our level three. You've created a shark. I think you could place a shark for a minute. You know, it's going to be like a 10-10 if it lives. Probably should have put the broccoli on you first if we were going to put the broccoli on you. Are we going to put the broccoli on you? I actually believe you can go broccoli garlic and, and be content with your four squad here. It does make your shark a little worse, but the garlic is going to save us, man. It didn't screw up their turtle as much as I thought it would. We're still, oh, okay, you got meat. Okay, we're going to lose. <laughs> but I'm holding on this one. This one is not in a situation where we have, like, no hope. The hope is here. Add a skunk. Forget the moth for the time being. We got other priorities. I'm telling you, all it takes is a peacock with a lot of HP. If your peacock has a lot of HP, the worse it looks is at the very, very start. And then from that point onwards, it like solos the entire team. The longer it lives, the scarier it gets. I don't even need to tell you that that's how we wanted it to work out from the get-go. Now, I do think maybe I'd rather have a falcon than a shark. And what do you add? You add six attack for the first couple of turns. It's worth something. But I am also like, you know what's interesting is what if you moved, you push the last enemy three spaces forward, you go first. Where would we like to shoot you? Where would we like to shoot?
So we could push the last enemy to position two and then kill them, probably. But do we want to kill the last unit? Because I feel like killing the last unit is like almost always actually useless because it tends to be a scaler. But it could be a lionfish. What we could do, we could just shuffle their team. So we're shuffling. The only shooting you do is into a tissue? Mouth, I have a, a child. I'm the biological father to another human being. Just think about it for two seconds. So I think we actually, what we want to do is move their last unit anywhere and then shoot the new unit that becomes their last unit. Because they didn't want that. That's a unit that they said should be further ahead. Yes. Okay. Roll me. I, I have to be honest with you. I think we're approaching the end of the moth's lifespan. We scale so much faster just from something like sell you. I think we could run this for one singular round. Let's do it. Welcome to the squad. Freeze me. If we live, that three extra gold is going to be pretty helpful. Plus, we, if we have to, we could probably sell a scum. Okay, we're shuffling. We're killing a dodo for no reason. We're no, we didn't shoot anything. We didn't shoot anything. We shot nothing. Whatever. We still. We, I'm a little upset that a four squad just blows us out. It's fine. It's fine. No fifth unit. <clears throat> Skunk's still good. You absolutely need this. That's not even in debate. Now, you are probably better than you. Probably, I think. Either way, buy me. Buff the crap out of me. Sell me. Still good. Take it. Go ahead. Just, just add it. Eagle's fine. Just pop an eagle down, like, right there. Who cares? No death touches, please. My snipes? My snipes? Your snipes? No. Oh, my God. Their peacock was just slightly stronger than me, but the rest of their team's kind of ass. But you spit out like the most ass unit you can spit out. We still draw. <laughs> uh, you, you're lucky. You're, you were very nearly not long for this world, my friend. If you spit out another tiger... You're done. Lionfish is just... You're actually done already. Lionfish is insane with this team if it doesn't get sniped because it could replace... If we're going mano a mano versus a peacock, it'll replace what their peacock has as equipment. So, why don't you take a grape for a second, make you even stronger, freeze me for a second. Sell it. You're going to sell a skunk, you're going to buy a cat next round. You're going to freeze a pizza. We're going to buff a seahorse. It has to stick around on this strange economy build. We sell the skunk. We buy a cat. We invest heavily in our foods and pray. Get shuffled, you piece. Kangaroo at the back. Actually still pretty strong. Still pretty strong in the whole scheme of things. But not that strong. Get smoked, okay? Sell the skunk, buy a cat, buy a pizza. The economy is now at play. Level three peacock, hoping for the best on that one. Don't need a cucumber. We want to see distributed foods if possible. We made it to six. Level one, thankfully. We can, we can live for a minute. We're dead? <laughs> we cannot live for a minute? Whatever, I'll take it to six. <clears throat> six wins. You know things have been bad when getting to six is like there's only 12% of the audience is there. Why keep Seahorse? Level three Seahorse was enabling the hammerhead. Obviously, in hindsight, I would do anything different. 
But when you say something like that, people are going like, why would you go all in? This guy is going to catch uh, his, his third uh, seven on the river. Well, I didn't know that. If I could see the future when I made the bets, you wouldn't see me at the World Series of Poker because I would have bought Monster Energy drink stock in like 2006. I wouldn't even be here. So be careful what you wish for. Now we're going to run the predictions. This is good. This is good. This is fine. But we want to see moths. What about a tiny planet like Jupiter? Of all choices, monster energy? My brother in Christ, look at the chart. We actually win these. Okay, round one. We're stable. I'm going to take a, a mouse. I'm going to roll. I, I want two mods. I'm going to sell a mouse. It's the, sometimes it's the right time. Now, I'm not going to give you this because you, you actually don't deserve the apple. I'm going to roll once. Just see what we get. Okay, you know what? Now you can take the apple. No, you still don't need it. We should buff a moth. It's the most likely to stick around a little further. The seahorse accepts the buff better, but we would probably sell it faster. I mean, if we get through the, the frilled dragon, it's over for you. And not just on Twitch. Two wins, two rounds. It's more likely than you think. Let's shoot for three. You're already in a world of hurt. You just don't know it yet. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this. Now, let's go. This, this is the ultimate sicko mode. Buff me, buff me, combine me. No, don't even combine me. Wait for me. Don't even need it. Don't even want it. Do want it next turn. Next turn, we'll combine these. Admittedly, we're not taking our level three, but that's okay. I can live without having an, an Emperor Tamarin anyway. Makes me sick. Maybe I should have combined them earlier, but whatever. An ox. Insanely good unit. One of the best units. Roll me. Not what I'm looking for, but can I tell you the peacock was very interesting for us recently. You know what you can do. You can sell a mosquito. And we can at least have a peacock. It absorbs the buff better. And now we can talk about removing the cockroach if it doesn't get a level. It's okay. It's okay. This, in fact, it's better than okay, probably. Two, two attack is exactly as much as we need, unless you get the best unit of all time. We, we, we can't lose. We could lose a little. The baby did indeed spill juice on you. Hi, honey. Do you want to come here and see Dada for a second? I have to go get changed. Hmm. But I don't know if she's upset, because like, she lost some of the juice, or she's upset because she spilled juice on me. I don't know why she's so upset. She's upset. Even though I'm the one who got juice. I think ex expecting the baby to meet you on your own terms with that level of logic is ambitious. I'm just saying, I don't know why she's upset. Honey, come see Dada for a second. Come see Dada. Sweetie. Can you go see, can you go look at some turtles with Dada? It's getting closer. Come see some turtles with Dada, honey. Oh, sweetie. Come see Dada. Just give it a sec. I've been doing this for like almost two years now. Come see Dada. Did you have a fun time at activity gym? She said no. Come see Dada. Tell me about all the things you did at activity gym. Did you do bubble time? 
She said no, but I think that she probably did because they do it every time. Did you do parachute time? Did you sing songs? Okay, hold on. I'm going to go get this baby. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Come see Dada. Come here. We got sheep. We got a bar bar. Yeah, come see that. Up. Here, here, here. There you go. Did that I pick you up? Yeah, Daddy got you. Want to say hi to Chad? Hi, Dad. Hi, Chad. Hi. Soup. Soup? Look, soup. Hello. Hi, baby. They say hi, baby. Can you say hi, Chad? Hi, Chad. Okay. That's a game. That's a game. Yeah. Okay. Stick. You, this is a stick? Hmm? Chick, like chick. Oh, a chick? Cheep, cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. That's rare. That's a game. Okay, we're going to level up. What's this? Do you know this? You know this. Oh. Mouse, good job. Do you know this? That's a seahorse. Okay, Daddy has to think about this for a second. We no longer need a seahorse, so we sell it. We want to buff a peacock, so we buy this. A peacock. Peacock. The cockroach absorbs the buff slightly better. Drown. Oh, drown, drown. You look for any form of scaling where it appears. We get ready to buff the peacock. You see a turtle? What color is the turtle? Green. And end my turn. Yeah, peacock. Can I help you with your bar bar? Peacock. Okay, here you go. All done. It's fine. You did great, honey. Look at this. Look, we won. C can you say hooray? We did it. Hooray. Turtle. Turtle. Okay, but we're not going to buy the turtle, okay? Don't be upset. There's a turtle there. So true, there's a turtle. Okay. You know what? You benefit the most from this, actually. I can't believe I've never seen it to this point. It's okay. We're going to roll. We should unfreeze you. I don't think we're taking the moth any higher. Lemon? Honey? Don't, don't push the microphone button, please. If we got nothing better to do, sure. Don't don't push the microphone button, please. Do you think we're gonna win? Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely gonna win, right? Here it comes. Here it comes. Any second now. Okay, we tied. Can we say hooray? Oh, we did it. We did it. A tie is still pretty good. Okay, early grape. 
put it on you. You're not getting sold. You need some support. Honestly, I'm going to do something. Peacock. I'm going to do something regrettable. I'm going to sell. I'm going to buy. I'm going to sell. I'm going to freeze. Now, you can't get the permanent buff. So we're just going to keep that here for a second. I don't know about this one. Very interesting. It's a very interesting situation. Sheep. What are you talking about? Let's get another one of these. Sheep. You, a sheep? You see a sheep? No. What does the sheep say? Bah. Bah, bah. Old McDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Tomo. Bye-bye, see you. Bye-bye, see you. And on his farm, he had a chicken. A chicken. E I E I O. With a bok bok here and a bok bok there. Here a bok, there a bok, everywhere a bok bok. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on his farm, he had a. How about robot? He had a robot, E-I-E-I-O, with a beep, beep, with a beep, beep here and a beep, beep, here. A beep, beep there, here a beep, yeah. Yeah. everywhere a beep, beep, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, okay, check this out, you ready for this? Do you see a moose? Here. There's a moose here. What does a moose say? Okay. You ready to go down, honey? You want your bar bar? Daddy? That's daddy's lip balm. Believers, you're done, by the way. There's uh, there's no hope for you. Because here's what I'm going to do. The hatching chick is, chick is going to buff the ox. Um, the moose is going to buff the ox. And then we're going to try to create a reasonably good ox. So I wish you the best of luck. That's acceptable. Why don't you take some support? Unfreeze, 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 unfreeze. Pray for the best. I'm going to go check on the baby. Well, I'm going to pay out the doubters and uh, Mommy, no, no. I'll be back in a couple